Wanted to come here and show you another glorious solution for using your 200 dp inductive amplifier and that is for your ground and how much noise and all that kind of you can find ground loops with these things too but it's pretty cool usually they're used for town generating but i thought it'd come to our killer electrical panel here if you touch that you're <laughs> that's death yeah, that's if you i wouldn't lick that if i was you you know if you if you're licking things like this you got serious problems in your life uh, you shouldn't be on earth you probably should be on venus because here on venus i hear they like to lick things a lot so it's just a rumor but uh, here you go you can see i got it engaged with a new battery had the a bad battery the last time and you can hear our node lines so that's your 60 hertz we want to hear that that tells me everything's working then you go down to your ground okay you hear that that's the ground going to the power company and you can hear it's got a slight oscillation which i've noticed them doing here lately with it and like i said uh it's you know big inductive coil right here and just to show you how much 60 hertz goes just show you the distance You can hear the 60 hertz, not audibly, you know, not not like super, you know, growling and stuff like that. But I want to show you, you know, just how these things are used. And you can hear the 60 hertz hum. That's what we have to avoid when you're running ham equipment. This is what we want to minimize. And you can hear, it even comes to the ground. You hear that? So, there's your ground conductivity. So just by touching the soil, you can hear it. Okay, but to me, if you want to hear most of the action, it's right there on that one wire, ground wire going up as I watch a chem sprayer going by. So that's what I use an EP200 uh, unit inductive amplifier for, for finding bad grounds, you know, coupling, you know, common node. I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff with these things you can find. Anywho. Hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, if you have, <laughs> this is before my time. This, <laughs> when this was installed, this was what I had to deal with, and you know I've never been able to turn the property off all at once to be able to rewire this. But yeah, when I first got here, this was a horrible mess. But this is our power panel, and you can hear we do a pretty good job keeping the hum minimized. Because over there. Over there is all my radio equipment, so you can see why I ran my wires and stuff where I did. But that's my radio camper. Anywho, peace out.